Good morning, guys. And when I say good morning, I do mean good morning because I was thinking, Caitlin, it's completely pitch dark in your room. How is it morning? Um, might be 20 past one in the morning. That's how it's morning. So we are going to be doing my July TBR. This is currently the 13th. No, it'll be the 14th now. 15th? Hey Google, what's the date? It's Monday, the 15th of July 2024. So I'm filming this on the 15th. A bit late. I haven't even filmed my wrap up yet. I'm gonna do this after. I've just had, just had a busy start to the month. Um, I'm going to be, in this video, I'm gonna be filming my TBR. So if you have seen my previous TBRs in the past two months, Two months, two months, two months, yes. Um, so from the pre previous two months, I did a wrapped up TBR. I picked out the numbers and whatnot. So first time I had six, last time I had seven. Didn't do too well on my TBR in either of the months. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unwrap the remaining seven I don't know what numbers I'm going to pick it at random. We can maybe do a little guess because I can't remember what I've wrapped up. Um, and then I do have an honorary addition to the TBR at the end. And so stick around for that. Let's pick this smaller book. Problem is, I don't remember what the hell I put in here. So you guys will find out that. This is a thriller. I can't, oh, I love how I have a bin next to me. No, it's not. Ready Player One. Is it bad that I forgot that I even own this book? I wrapped these up like three months ago, at least two and a half months ago. Um, I forgot about this book. This is a sci-fi, oh, it's small text. Mm. Small text. At like 400 almost 400 pages no so imagine the world at stake an epic struggle between good and evil the greatest quest in history face of humanity resting in your hands are you ready this is to do with a video game isn't it like the person goes into a video game yes escapes to a video game love how i completely forgot about first of all that i owned ready player one i got this from 66 books back in November. Yes, it would have been November. I think it was like end of November. Or it might have been, no, it might have been start of December actually. Um, I did do a massive book haul, like massive. So Ready Player One. That's the thing, I think there's still like a good mix. Like there'll be like a fantasy in there. I definitely know that. Um, There'll be a romance. Again, I don't remember what books are in here. Okay, no, this is a thriller. So this is Guess Who. I saw, all I saw on the back was the word Guess. Um, yes, it's a thriller. Oh, and it's a floppy thriller. And it's big text. Floppy and big text. Again, I think I've got this from 66 books. I'm flicking towards the start so that I don't ruin anything. But look at that, that is big text. 392, floppy book, thriller, bigger text. This should be a good one to get through. I do want to read, oh, I love how I never gave the synopsis of this one. I do want, there is a thriller called, called, that, called, called That's Not My Name by Megan Lally. I do want to read that at some point, like that is kind of calling to me. It says, a waitress, a cleaner, an actress, a lawyer, a student. Everyone is a suspect in a locked hotel room with no escape and no idea how they got there. In the bathtub, the body of a man they all knew. Someone murdered him, someone in this room. They have three hours to find out or, or they all die. Um, so this is like gonna be like a fast paced one. Um, and I cannot wait to read. Well, this to be, I feel like this might be the Cassandra Fair book that I've got in here. Cause I feel like, but then again, it might be this one. This might be the Cassandra Fair book. So we'll do that one next. Um, but let's open this book. I can't actually see what it is. 
but I can tell you. What did I freaking tell you? We had a successful guess. So this is Shadow Hunters. No, City of Bones. Yeah, it's called City of Bones in the Immortal Instruments series and like the Shadow Hunters. I know that there's loads of like internet interconnected stuff. I got this off of Books to Door or something. And I got the whole box set for like £17 and then it was like, or like £16 and then it was like £3.99 shipping or something. So, in t so I do own the whole series. Um, big text, like actually big text. I know that this is, I think this is YA. There is like, 500 just over 500 pages but it doesn't feel that big so we might get through this one quite quick um this says clary frey is seeing things vampires in brooklyn and werewolves in manhattan irresistibly drawn to the shadow hunters a secret kada of warriors dedicated to ridding the world of demons clary encounters the dark side of new york city and the dangers of forbidden love I think this is a YA fantasy and clearly there's some romance in it. So like I said, we have a big range. Like currently we have sci-fi, we have thriller and we have fantasy. Um, I think City of Bones is an urban fan. Yeah, it is an urban fantasy because it's literally a mortal person seeing occult type creatures. Also, anyone who's been around on my channel long enough We'll know that years ago I had a Pylea, Pylea peperomioides. I don't know whether I gave update to that recently um but or like ages ago but um my old one died and then in B&Q last week I found one and it was like half price so I paid four pounds for a nice little Pylea peperomioides and this was like one of my first houseplants so I'm really, really happy to have one again. I just thought I'd give like a little plant update. It hasn't got a home yet, hence why it's still up there. But I just spotted it and I was like, you know what? Let's update. So now it's like, well, what is this book? This feels floppier. Like it just feels more malleable. I'm gonna guess it's a romance. Yeah. Icebreaker. I kind of knew I had this book in here, but I also kind of forgot. Like, it's not floppy, but also I could tell that when I it was in the wrapping, it was, like, malleable. We all know what Icebreaker is. The rink for the figure skaters isn't working, so they have to share the rink with the ice hockey team. And there is a romance. There is spice. I fully know that. And um, we will see whether I get to it, because... I have a lot on my currently reading. Like I started a lot of the books from last month. Plus I still had my never ending ones from when I did my starting new book every single day for a month challenge, which has obviously very much come back to bite me still. Um, I don't know why I'm getting romance vibes. It's not sure. It is, I wanna say it's like a gothic fantasy. It is an, an unusual thing to live in a botanical garden, but Simon and Gregor are an unusual pair of gentlemen. Hidden away from the dis disapproving title of Victorian London, they are free to follow their own interests without interference. For Simon, this means working for, for his taxidermical art. Gregor's business is exotic plants, lucrative but harmless enough, until his later, latest acquisition, a strange fungus, which shows signs of intellect beyond any plant he's seen, inspires him to attempt to masterwork true intelligent life from plant matter driven by the glory he'll earn from the royal horse cultural society for such an achievement gregor ignores the flaws in his plan that intelligence cannot be controlled that plants cannot be reasoned with and that the only way his plant feast will flourish is if he uses a recently deceased corpse for the substrate i think this is a gothic fantasy um i picked this up from waterstones because on the front there was like a sticker being like signed by author or something and like I knew I'd seen but also I knew I'd seen in like emails that my local Waterstones had the author 
coming in for like a visit and it turned out that it had been like the night before now i had been working that day so i couldn't um but i picked this up and i do have an actual signed copy so i'm hoping i really enjoy this because it just it does sound so good and yeah i would love to oh and it's bigger text and this definitely does like look like bigger text as well i will say i this one i could have like left behind and bought another day but because it was signed i was like i'm gonna buy it but yeah look at that it looks like bigger text at least in my opinion anyway but yeah we have another fantasy again a nice little range I know I tried to guess the last one of fantasy, not fantasy, romance, but I do think this one's a romance. Of course it's a thriller. Um, the Family Remains. This is the sequel in a duology. First book is The Family Upstairs. I read it years ago, loved it. Um, and I... And I will admit, I read that book and I saw, I read like the ending and was like, I kind of want to see something go on with that. Now granted, this follows like a different story. There, it, and like it involves a new character. Early morning, on the foreshore of the River Thames, a bag of bones is discovered, human bones. Dr. Samuel, D.I., Jesus Christ, it's not doctor, it's because I saw the D and I was like, um, doctor, no, not doctor. D.I. Samuel Owusu quickly sends the bag for forensic exam examination. The bones are those of a young woman killed by a blow to the head many years ago. Also inside the bag is a trail of clues which lead D.I. Owusu to a mansion in Chelsea where 30 years previously, three people lay dead while a baby upstairs waited for someone to pick her up. Four deaths, an unsolved mystery, a family whose secrets can't stay buried forever. Like, can't stay buried forever. Um, so I do... I want to read more of like that story especially because of the male character that's away like the male character in the first book that's like mentioned and like in the past timeline I feel like this is gonna involve him a little bit more because like he was away out of the country working so I am interested but I'm also scared because I've had that some people think that it wasn't really needed and it probably wasn't but her first book was so good and I do have a lot more of her books like I do have two other of her books and I do know that one of her first books called Ralph's Party um has recently come out um like in like a newer d cover but I'm unsure about whether I want to read that one just because it looks different to what her like thrillers with this kind of type design have kind of entailed so I'm like I'm worried um and then the final wrapped book before I get to um the final wrapped book I don't know which it is I love how we've ended on like number 12 I don't look at the numbers I think that's yeah I didn't look at the numbers um I love how I didn't guess either that explains why I was thinking, where is the other book? Um, we have these violent delights. Um, this is a, what I've heard, it's like a Romeo and Juliet type retelling, but in like Shanghai um, with like spies and everything. Um, the year is 1926 and Shanghai hums to the tune of debauchery. A blood feud between two gangs runs the street red, leaving the city in chaos. Juliet Kai is the proud heir of the Scarlet Gang, a network of criminals for above the law, far above the law. Roma Montagov is the prodigal son of her latest rivals, the White Flowers, her, her greatest rivals, Jesus Christ, who have fought the Scarlets for generations, who is also Juliet's first love and first betrayal. When a deadly madness strikes gangsters on both sides, the people start to whisper of a contag of a contagion and a monster in the shadows, and as for the deaths and as the st deaths stack up, 
Julius and Roman must set their guns and grudges aside and work together. For if they can't stop this mayhem, there will be no city left to rule. I don't know what category this would be in. I actually don't. I do own the second book in the duology. Um, but I have no clue. I have no clue which genre this belongs to. Is it a romance? But it's not going to be a romance. But like a mystery? I don't know. I just know that Rachel has said really good things about it. And then the honourable mention is Reckless by Lauren Roberts. This came out on the second. I literally picked it up on the third. I got the the works like stenciled edge edition to match my powerful novella um, that I got from there as well. I do think they need to come out with like a stenciled edge of powerless. Although I do own Powerless, I just, I feel like there should be at some point. I'm really excited to get to this. I have not started it yet, but I do really want to get to it this month. I loved Powerless. Gave it a five stars. Powerful, I gave, I think I gave like 4.5, but probably more like a four. So I'm excited to see what this one does. I've heard this is more of like a cat and mouse kind of game rather than like the whole vibe that the first book was going under. I have seen Sarah say that there's a bit too much of Kai and Payton together in this book just because of how it's supposed to be hunting, he's hunting her kind of thing and so it's like why are they actually spending so much time together. That's all I know um, but I'm really excited to get to it but I do also know that I have to wait until April next year to get Fearless which is the final instalment of the trilogy. I do know that this book is more like 400 pages. So I'm kind of, I'm hoping that Fearless is more like 600 because if it's only like 300, none of us are gonna be happy. 388 pages, which doesn't feel like a lot. Although this probably is more of like a world building because we get glimpses of the other parts of like the world that's like mentioned in the map. And there is like a little family tree at the start, so clearly that's going to come into it somewhere. And I'm curious to see where, because it's the Asia family tree. So I'm like, ooh. And like, I know there's different types of royalty. So I'm like, mm, what are we gonna do with this? But um, yeah, I'm really excited. Um, and it just kind of follows along from what happens after like the trial like the end of the trials um and i'm not going to give any spoilers but you should definitely read powerless if you haven't already if you're like oh i don't want to get into such a big book but you want to dip your toes in maybe go for the novella it does spoil the ending of powerless but also it doesn't spoil too much like not too, too much at least. I love how we have one romance. We have a one sci-fi, two thrillers. I'm gonna say like three fantasies. That includes the botanical daughter or a botanical daughter and a I'm unsure because I have no clue what the what these violin delights is classed as. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what was on your July TBR and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!